Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the final, yes, you heard that right, the final refresh of my deck for the summer because the next upload is going to start being fall. As you guys know, some people already start doing their fall stuff already. If you already start doing your fall stuff already, go ahead and type me a comment in the comment section. I haven't started so yet. I'm trying to enjoy every last bit of the summer. Okay. All right. If you're new to my channel, my name is Shana. On this channel, I do a lot of home DI projects and different type of crafting. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. And thank you guys so, so much for your continuous love and support. Port. and that was fiona that you've just seen if you don't know who she is you see how dirty she is that's because she digged through the dirt shove her face in it so here we are we're cleaning up the deck and if you wanted to see what this deck looked like when i first purchased the home i'm gonna have that video in the description box below also in the i card above so all we're doing we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pressure wash this deck we're gonna use some um some bleach some pine salt because they do help keep i was told i heard some other people say it kept it keeps the bugs away okay it eliminates those bugs so yes we're gonna sweep leaf blow wash the deck and all that lovely thing and of course it's something that i constantly have to do because of course this deck ain't covered in there's a lot of trees so we're just cleaning it off and all i'm doing i'm using my leaf blower and i'm going around and i'm gonna be blowing the leaf off blowing the leaves off blowing the leaves off then once i'm done with that i'm gonna go wash it okay so it's nothing nothing crazy <laughs>
so once I was done pressure washing the deck I went ahead I used my bleach pine salt as you guys could see and I just kind of like throw it on the, 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 the deck and started to mop in it I didn't mix it up in water or anything it's outside I didn't need to do that um, if you want to see my deck makeover I'm gonna be adding that link in the iCard above and the description box below and guys I just want to say this deck is paint but be careful if you're gonna use your pressure washer to wash paint because it could peel it so I use the pressure washer but instead of the direct hitting it with the pressure washer I kind of like make it mist over which is more heavier than a garden hose but not direct just hitting the deck and like I say, it does get messy back here. Those flower when they drop, the leaves when they drop, and then it sits right on the deck. So that's all I'm doing. You see, I'm wiping the bench. There's a built-in bench on the deck. So that's all I'm doing, wiping everything to get those leaves off. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Okay, so now we're all done with cleaning it off. And now we're going to start decorating. I have this rug for two live long years now and i didn't want to put it out here because i'm like ah, oh, it's gonna get ruined even though it's outdoor deck it's just you know i'm like every time i say i'm gonna put it out then i'm like nah i'm not gonna put it out i want to wait till i do over the deck cover but that doesn't seem like it's gonna be something that's gonna get done so yes but i did i think i got it at target yeah i think that's where i got it it's i don't know if they still have it but it's a two-year-old rug i bought i bought at target so here i am usually i just put out the furniture and don't put out the rug but for this season i said all right i'm gonna put it out whatever so this way i feel like it's a refresh okay so here we go untangle that throat over there we're just gonna unroll the rug okay
However, I never have that much food here. However, I did buy this the table that has seven um, seats because I have seven people in my family, like two parents and four kids. <laughs> now I have a niece. Woohoo! So now it's eight. Um, so uh, last year I fixed up, I put together three of these chairs and it was a pain in the ass. Like I tell you, it was a lot of work to put them together. To put them together. The, the point is they use those little, what they call it, all in key or whatever they call it. Those are the keys. You guys know what I'm talking about. They're giving you nowadays to set up furniture. That hurts your fingers to keep whining and turning it. So I had enough of it. So I fixed up three of them and I'm like, screw this. I'm in the, I'm in the ass where I have three of them. One. I just don't need, I just need one chair. I don't need all these chairs. So I never finished fixing them up. So I left it like that. They're each year, it's been out there like that. And I just, you know, who cares? I mean, it, it looks nice. <laughs> so this year I decided that I'm cleaning out the garage and all these things that I have packed up in the garage must go. So of course I had to put the other three chairs together. I tell you, what a pain in the ass. It is not hard. Honestly, it's not hard to put together to put together but it's just those little keys that they give you to tighten them your finger hurts and then because i've been using my hands so much at work and at home you know doing all these things pain in the ass and also i have this um storage container this one was from timu but i tell you what i bought it from timu but amazon delivered it so i don't know if they have some affiliation going on so i that one i put together i mean I don't like how this was. So I kind of use some screws and screw it together. I didn't like if you pick it up, it fall apart. So I just kind of like use some small screw. This is why I always keep those little small screw. Like every time I buy something and I have those little screws and I don't use all of them, I always keep them. I have like a container that I keep all those extra screws or whatever. So I kind of screw it up together. So now in order for me to take it apart, I have to unscrew it because I didn't like those little snapping piece because they weren't snapping. And, you, know, you can tell it was really from Timo. The snapping wasn't working. So anyways, putting it together and then you know yeah that's it So these little um, stair light or step light or whatever light they call them, um, I got those from Timo and I tell you these are the bomb. They are so nice. So I install those on the step. This is a different day because guys, it's been raining a lot and stuff on and off raining. And this is how I cover. If you always see my patio furniture covered up. In order to keep it clean, I have to cover them because you guys know that I have like white clothes. And what I used to do every night, I would bag them up them in a garbage bag and throw them in the garage and if I have to use them if I have company over I'll bring them out but I decided I'm sick and tired of doing that I also need to make space in my garage so I cover them back up like with the usually I use these covers for the winter and leave the, everything open in the summer but this has been working for me to cover up the furniture with the cushions and everything on it back because those covers are I got them from Amazon and it did my furniture really well. I have some of these furniture for 14 years. 14 years and they're still standing strong. Because I never leave my furniture outside in the winter. Even at my old house where I have a cover patio, I bring in the furniture in the winter. Because guess what? In the winter time, the snow like, it gets onto the patio even though you have a room. So this year, I don't. I decided I don't have space. I'm using the garage or something else. I'm not going to that shed because you know, there's rat in the shed and there's two. Um, <laughs> woodchuck that live underneath it. Plus, it's so far away. I feel like somebody lives in there other than me. So I'm kind of scared. So I didn't get both there. So I cover them and it's been working. Anyways, next story is these candles are from the Home Depot, guys. I got them last year fall on sale from the Home Depot. And literally, at the time when I created this video, this is at the time when I created this video, it was, it's literally one year later which I can bring it back to this August. I bought it last year, July. 2022 2023 sorry and it's telling me i can return it july 21st 2024 so i'm like literally i could have returned these if i wanted it's a year later and i'm just now using it like i've never used them i kind of like this is the thing i buy all these things and they're in the garage brand new and then 
only way I came across these is because I was cleaning out the garage. I just constantly buy and buy new stuff, put them down and forget that I have them, go buy another stuff that I already have or forget I have them. So anyways, these are outdoor light um, candles. So I open it, put some battery in it. And I got them last year, like I said, fall, right after the, um, not fall, you see, July, just um, just as about as the summer was about to over. Everything started going sale at that time because guess what? People, before that, before you know, they start putting on Halloween stuff. So that's all. So we unravel all of those and then we put in their little lantern and those artificial plants again they're from inside the house i got them a couple years ago from michael's yes they're from michael's and i don't know where to put them in the house anymore it's like wh like where do i put these i feel like i don't have space how the hell i live in a big old house by myself and i feel like i don't have space so they were in the garage for a while and i figure i'll put them right out here too because it looks summery too so that's the thing i don't want them in the house all year round because they do look summery those um leaves so this is what this is what it looks like once i was done and everything is covered up again like i say i always cover up everything so this is literally what it looks like so if it rains nothing gets wet these covers are super good like i said i got them from amazon a couple years ago and if you guys really look you could see where that rug the mat at the door is a little wet and it covers up everything nicely and everything stays dry and clean i don't see I, every now and then i took the covers off take the covers off so the, the the cushions and all those things can air out so we don't get mold and all that stuff but i think i'm definitely going to take up those cushions for the winter i'm not going to leave them out there i'm going to put them back in the garbage bag and throw them in the garage but definitely the covers do it really well throughout the rain we've been having a lot of rain and i'm telling you it's doing good and look at these plants they're just so gorgeous and now that it's coming to fall and these plants are still standing strong they go all the way up to frost it hurts my feelings. I know some people would like, I'm going to get rid of them to put out their fall stuff. I'm definitely going to put out fall stuff with those flowers because I pay a lot of money and invest a lot of time in it. And this is what it looks like at nighttime while it was raining. So it was raining and I came home from work, of course, and I said, let me take the dog out for party. While the dog was out for party, I said, why not take a video? Unfortunately, my phone does not show the beauty of what it looks like out here at night. I don't know. I think I need, I have a camera. I think I need to learn how to use it. I have a camera, but I don't have to use it. Plus the phone is just more convenient. You know what I'm saying? So it's raining. You guys see it's raining. You see I have a tote there because guess what? Water gets into the table, that dining table piece. It swag down and water gets into it. I bought that thing when I had three chairs around the table. I think I need a bigger one now that I put up the other six pieces. Those cushions, I made them when I was listing my house, the last house for sale. I made those cushions just to make the yard look nice, you know, for um, what they call them, staging for the outdoor. And they're doing well. I have so much stuff, I don't even know where to put them. So now I put that mirror outside. <laughs> oh, my God. I have so much stuff, I don't even know where to put this. Like, why do I have so much? It's so many things. So you can't really see it good. But see that water? So all that water, I bailed that out. It sits right in there. And guys, believe it or not, even though the water sits in there, you would think that it would get the cushions on the dining table wet. No, it did not. So all I do, I get like a, uh, I have this uh, bucket and I bail this water out and I throw it in that tote. And then I just save them in the tote to water my flowers. Because I have so many flowers. If you guys are not New Year, you know I have so many plants that I planted plus my garden. So there goes the bucket. There goes this thing. So that's what it looks like. So this is what it looks like during the daytime look at those plants okay i'm telling you these plants are flourishing and they're looking even better right now and i'm not gonna uh, honestly they're staying out there because guess what the cushions are clear so i don't really need to do anything like to change them out they're not so summery they're white that's why i use those half white cream color so it stays the same and look at this i thought this was dead but it's coming back alive i don't really know it's the name of it i got it at walmart half dead and i made two out of it and they were doing so well but they don't like the sun now that it's getting cooler even though it's still summer but it's getting cooler here and a lot of rain it started flourishing back and there it is unfortunately i don't have a video of what this look like at night but it's so pretty at night when everything is lit up like the candles and the, the fireplace and all the tiki lights and everything so so pretty okay so that's what it looks like and i appreciate you guys for watching so if you made it this far throughout the video it's obvious that you like what you see here okay so let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button click that notification bell 
Also, make sure you share this video with your friends and family so they won't miss out. Type me a comment in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys, okay? And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and check out some of my other content. And I have loads more video to come. Uh, loads more planned for this yard for next year, summer. Unfortunately, this is it for the summer. I mean, I'm trying to tie it up unfinished project. So that's why I haven't posted in like, I think I have a post over a week. That's bad because you guys love the landscaping stuff and you know, landscaping, all the landscaping stuff is summer. We're heading on to fall now. So I can't share a video of me planting flowers and we're heading toward fall. Plus also, I'm just trying to finish up all the unfinished work that I have going on outside. Like the shutters, I still have five more shutters to paint and put up, you know, and I, my, my, um, outdoor kitchen, outdoor bar slash kitchen that I was working on that I didn't get to share this year, but hopefully next year. By the grace of God, that will be coming. It's done, but I just have to tighten up some spot, like to finish stain. But the build is done. It's just to finish stain. So this is what this look like. It's very cozy out here. It's very peaceful. And all I sit out here at night and listen to is those frogs that I'm afraid of. So, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I just want to say, remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. Until next time, be blessed and bye for now.